Hello. This video is to answer one of my evaluation questions from my A2 Media blog. The question is how effective is the combination of your main tasks and your, and your additional ancillary tasks? Uh, for my coursework I created a musical promotion pack for my fictional band Pasco's Boys. Uh, I did three tasks, the main task being a music video which I did with my colleague Robert Volpitt. Uh, I did an ancillary task which was a CD digi pack which I created on Photoshop and I also did a band website which is my second ancillary task that I created on the website design program Wix. The first combination, the way all my like, coursework pieces connect, is I use a similar font throughout all the three pieces, even with the video at the beginning part we, I use the same font. Um, this is a good way of creating an ideology for the band. The font I used was Old Times Roman, which was quite a boring font, some people said, but I think it just suited all my coursework and it fitted in really well in comparison to other fonts. Within Word, I didn't, you know, I thought that was a better font to use. Um, I also used it for like anchorage and titling on my website in on my CD digi pack. So on the back cover of the digi pack, I used it for like the song titles of the album, etc. And obviously the main title within the album cover. Um, this like technique is used across all different bands within the alternative music genre. For example, Bastille and Crystal Fighters use it as a way of creating their own ideology to their bands and so people when they see that font as their title people know that it is them it's a good way of selling their product and promoting it to their fans so it is quite a good technique to use I think it's seen a lot within the music industry uh, the second way all my products combined with my media coursework is that I, on my website one of my ancillary tasks that I created it features all of my pieces of coursework so for example the images that I use for my digipack are on there within the gallery page of the website and on the home page, which is like the main hub, I think, of all the information that kind of tells you what the website's about, is uh, the music video, which we put onto YouTube, and then we put it on the home cover, home page. Sorry, I think this is good. This is a good way of promoting the video. Lots of bands use it. If you look on every every band's website, they either have like a SoundCloud version of the song, or they have the actual music video. They've created it over their most recent hit or song. So I think it's I think it was a good way of combining the product, and it's good for musical promotion, which is the main aim of the coursework. Um, the third effect, or the third combination, was that I interlinked all my pieces of coursework, sorry, um, is the way that all the band members that feature within Pasco's Boys feature in at least one piece of the coursework, whether it be the main task or the ancillary task. Like for example, myself and Rob featured within the main task. I kind of created like a well, fictional characters out of my, like, out of my friendship group and I used pictures of them and put it on the website because they've got their permission or well, two of them, two of the band members were myself and Rob we featured in the music video as well as my friend James and Luke featuring on the band website in the band bio page so we've got images of them um, yeah. and they're also seen like on the CD digi pack as well I'm on the CD digi pack so there's members of the band on each, not all of the members on each piece of course but they're on at least one which is a good way of like bringing it another way that it's brought together so it's combined yeah, and that's, uh, that's pretty much how, uh, that's just the range of ways I combined all my coursework. So just to recap, the first way I used or combined my coursework was I used a similar font across all of the pieces. So that includes the titling of the main music video, uh, the CD cover, the anchorage and the titling, and um, the band website with the titles and everything across that. It's all, all old times Roman. So that's the way I combined all of my coursework together. The second effect was all my finished products being on my band website, so the music video which is placed on YouTube and now is on the band's website on the home page and the images for my CD cover. They also feature across like we have like sidebars on the website but connecting it to social media and has images of the front cover, it's all over the website really. I said it was just in the gallery but the covers for the CD digi pack are all across the website. So that's another way that all the pieces combined and the third way was that there are images of the band members in all pieces of the coursework. So yeah, that's the uh, answer to my question.